Welcome back to the training. I am so excited you're taking advantage of these free Warrior Heart True North training videos. In our first training, I taught you about the five essential elements of success. Joyful self-expression, learning how to live a life that honors your soul purpose. Vibrant health, a body that has enough juice and energy and vitality to let you create the life you intend. Number three is a valid education, using natural law to understand how the world works and how we work in it. Number four, loving relationships, surrounding ourselves with people that uplift, support, challenge, and help us move our life forward. Number five is joyful service to the world, being engaged in a career, in a profession that turns you on and feeds you and brings the abundance into your life that you know you deserve. In this training tape, I'm going to invite you into one of our private Warrior Heart True North Vision Quests in Santa Barbara, and I'm going to show you exactly how to take the five elements of nature, earth, water, fire, wind, and void, how to use them to build a compass, a daily process. There's only six steps, and if you train and use these six steps every day, it will expand and open your life in ways you can't imagine. I want to share with you a note I just got from one of the students that I'm working with. I get these all the time and I, and I can't tell you how fulfilling and gratifying it is to know that I'm able to help people find the joy that is your birthright. I started working with Bill one-on-one -on -one right after the True North Warrior Heart Vision Quest. Life is now all-encompassing. Joy and sorrow can fit together to create a beautiful portrait of life. The compass has expanded me in ways I had only dreamt about before. Bill Poet is by far the most amazing combination of spirit and humanity, and he's guiding me to do the same. My career is expanding, my personal life is healing, my physical body is getting stronger every day. Hiring Bill to be my coach and guide is the best gift I've ever given myself. Thank you, Bill, Gina. I know that if you stick with me, if you follow this training protocol, I'm going to be getting a letter from you that is expressing very much the same thing. So I want you to grab a pencil, grab a piece of paper, tune in and get turned on because with this compass and with me as our guide, anything is possible. So I'll see you in a few minutes and thanks for joining me on the adventure of a lifetime. These three words, I am convinced, are the key to everything. I am worthy. So I do an exercise with new clients before they've been to something like this, and I'll say, okay, say these words, and we'll do a little meditation, I am worthy, okay, and I'll say, tell me why you are worthy. And they start telling me why. What do you think some things they tell me? Yeah, I, I work hard, I'm a good person, I contribute to the community. I, does that really, is that what makes you worthy? You have a big house or a big car? But in America, if you live in Montecito, you're worth more than if you live in the west side. If you live in the west side, you're worth more than if you live in the east side. Do you guys understand? So we're fighting against a belief system that is false. Our roadmap is false. Why are we worthy? Because I am. Because I am. I am worthy. And, and we didn't talk a lot about this, but this morning I want to spend one more second on the void because this is the heart of everything. I know that I'm worthy. I also know that I am the center, which is really fun. Um, close your eyes for a second and imagine the universe. Take a really big breath. And imagine the universe extending out in every conceivable direction. And physicists are telling us that it's extending in every direction for an infinite amount of space. So that's kind of hard to wrap my brain around. But so in every direction, the universe is extending infinitely. What is the very, very center of the universe? See if you can see it. What's the center of the universe? Yeah. You are. Right? From, from, from your perspective, this is where it gets really cool. From your perspective in time and space, you're the living heart of a perfectly unique universe. 
Everything extends out from you. Alyssa, everyone on this planet circles you. Every book, every sunrise, every opportunity is here for you. That's amazing, isn't it? And she's perfectly unique. You must be loved to have an entire universe at your, as your plaything, as your playground, as your opportunity to express yourself. So what do you guys, and we're going to do a quick review here. Tell me about the void. What have you guys learned about the void? The void is what? Okay, the void is silent. Spirit. God. Limitless. The void is limitless. My favorite definition of the void is Einstein's. Einstein said knowledge is limited. The imagination is limitless. The imagination is the heart of all of your power, all of your possibility. Napoleon Hill, which some of you guys might be familiar with, he wrote a great book 100 years ago, studied the most successful people on the planet and distilled it into one sentence. Whatever the mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. Now, there were a few steps he left out. But there's truth in that. We walked on the moon. We have cell phones. We have, we have, I did a training in Pasadena that was broadcast live instantaneously all over the world. Then it was automatically loaded to YouTube. It got watched in 46 countries. I'm blown away by this. Where did that come from? Someone's imagination. Somebody imagined, what if we could be talking right now all over the world? That's our power. That's our source of power. It's also your greatest trap. Because each one of you guys imagine bad things about yourselves. Well, you said something that was really profound. One of your greatest fears or was self? Self-rejection. Self-rejection. Wow. Has anybody ever done that? I have. I have. I have thought the worst things about me. I have imagined the worst things about me. So my capacity to control my imagination, my capacity to use my imagination. When we first started, you were daydreaming, right? You don't have to tell me what you're daydreaming about, because who knows? Daydreams, here's what's cool about daydreams. They're powerless. There's no power to them because they stay here. You know when they become powerful? When we start making declarative statements. Let's look at the word I am because this is earth. I am. This is a declarative statement. Anybody ever said I am depressed? I am. Be careful with that. Be careful with the word because it is a declaration. So we begin up here in the void. The void is limitless. Tell me about Earth. Tell me what you guys learned from the Earth element today. Solid, stable. Solid, stable. What else? What does what is, what is, what is the Earth Mother give us? Grounded. Grounded. Abundance. Earth energy is abundance. This is everything comes from our sacred Mother. Everything comes from the other. This. There isn't a single thing here that wasn't pulled from the earth. Do you guys? I'm awed by that. This entire this town was pulled from the earth. So the earth element is where I ground my intention. So why do lives go off track? Well, because remember I said when we were in the earth training, I said, well, a whole bunch of people don't know what they want. If you don't know what you want, you're guaranteed to get it. So you need to get good at exercising your declarations and you exercise them as intentions, okay? Today I will, today I am. Does that make sense? Uh, okay, do this, take out your, take out your journals and, and this, is a, this is a 15 second exercise. I want you to imagine a hero. A hero is gonna come into your life. This hero is gonna come into your life and they're gonna fix everything. Like, this is the superhero. They're going to come in. They're going to be your best friend. They're going to be your mentor. I want you to just write it. What are the qualities they have? My superhero friend is, and just 
10 seconds, write down the qualities. This person, this, this, this white knight champion that's coming into your life. If you don't have a pen, just imagine it. Just what, what, what traits do they have? See this person. We're using our mind's eye to see this person that has the answers, that has the power that I need to make my life, to help guide me, to make it brilliant. My hero. Okay, everyone's going to give me one adjective. Jen? Um, this person is authentic. Authentic. Independent. Optimistic. Optimistic. Intuitive. Intuitive. Accepting. Accepting. Loving. Loving. Uh, focused. focused. Joyful. Joyful. Attentive. Attentive. Okay, we just made an awesome person. This person has all of those qualities. Have you ever been those qualities? Look at your qualities at some point in your life. Of course you have. Now, think of a villain. Um, I have been selfish, small, narcissistic, and mean. I have. Are there are people who that's their experience of me. And I have also been loving and generous and wise and kind, right? The only difference is normally for the first 51 years of my life before this compass, I was in reaction to the world around me. If the outside of the compass was good, then you tended to get a better me. If the outside of the compass wasn't good, you got a worse me. So now one of the exercises I do in the morning, in addition to those other things I gave you, who do I choose to be today? Who do I get to be today? I've, lately, I've decided I'm wise, loving, generous, and funny. It's true, see? That's who I, because now where did that guy come from? Where did that guy come from? Have any of you guys experienced me as that person? Yeah. It's a creation of my mind. Do you guys understand that? That I then declare. So this is our earth energy. It's my declared intention. This is one of my favorite words. Soul. So I got soul purpose right here. What's that? Authority. Now look at this. Put a little hyphen in here. Put a little hyphen in there. What does that say? Author. It. Why? You guys remember the Mickey Mouse Club? No, no, no. I'm really old. Okay. I'm funny and I'm old. Why? Because we love you. you. Nobody remembers that? M I C K E Y M. <sighs> so that's what happens when you have a guide that has ADHD. I go, Phew! but then I come back. So if you don't author your life, who's going to? Everybody else. So in the earth element, I'm the sole authority. I am writing the story of my life mindfully every day. And it's just fun. Who is Bill going to be today? And then tomorrow, who am I going to be? It's fun. And there's silly me, right? And there's pain in the ass me and all the other things. But I get to decide. So this is the earth element. Practice. When you guys leave, when you wake up tomorrow, I want you to practice one intention. Just one. For the next week, wake up and, and before you get out of bed, and this is really important. Why do we do this step? One, imagine before we get out of bed. How do I start yeah, guess what happens when you step out of bed? You're in the earth, you're, you're, you've, you're out of the void, you're in your to-do list. So I imagine, I declare, and let's talk about water. I want you to think of the ocean, I want you to think of the stream. What did you guys learn? from water. What is water here to teach us? Detached. 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 Deter discernment. Clear. Clear. I have clarity. When, you, when your life is in chaos, get help. Get a coach. Get a friend. Get a guide. You know why? They can help you make decisions that you can't because you're spinning. 
So the water element is clarity. And this is our step three. What do we do here? We train. And what are your four pillars? What are we exercising? Body, right? Body, mind, heart, spirit. Every week. So, so imagine, imagine what your life is going to be like in six months. When you get in the habit of training, waking up in the morning and imagining, and Millie's been fantastic. She's got a whole imagining board in her house. I imagine, I declare, I train. What do we do over here in the fire element? Engage. Are you all, do you do heart checks? I do heart checks. Before I go into a meeting, before I pick up the phone, am I gonna give myself to you? Do you feel like when we're together, I'm giving myself to you? I, I'm in. Yeah. I'm in. Because if I don't, if I'm, if I don't want to give myself to you, guess what we're not going to do? Right. We're not going to be together. Right? I get to pick. In the next 24 hours of my life, I'm not going to be with any vampires. I don't have to be. Now, okay? Now, over here, we also have forgive SOS tree. That's a whole process that keeps this open. Let's talk about fire. What do we know about the fire element? Passion, connection, totally, there's no separation. Love, hate, all of those emotions live in the fire realm. This is the, the, the energetic driver of your dreams. So think, look at it this way. I want to go to Yosemite. Why? Because I love Yosemite. He loves Yosemite, okay? How are we going to get there? Am I going to walk? We take a motorcycle, motorcycle. Okay, so we're going to take our motorcycles. So we've got, we, we, we've imagined our destination. We've got our motorcycles. This is fuel, people. You might not have the juice. This is the fire that drives your, this is what keeps you going. This is what keeps, and, and if, if my governor, or how about this? You know, I'm only, I'm, I can only go five miles an hour. That's all my heart's going to let me do. It's going to take me a long time to get to Yosemite. So this is me being all in, all in. And then the wind element. We just played in the wind element. What do we know about the wind element? Free, do it. Freedom of movement. Freedom of movement. Don't get stuck. So tomorrow, when you guys, you're going to get up and you're going to declare. You're going to imagine. You're going to declare. You're, you're, we're always training. You're going to do a heart check. I want you to catch yourself getting stuck. Catch yourself getting frustrated. Catch yourself not moving freely and let it go. Shake it off. Move. Physically move. That's the other thing about this model. Move your body. If you're stuck, remember parents back in the old days before they gave us video games? What would they tell us to do when we were depressed? Go outside and play. Oh, that works because I'm moving my body. And then step six, and that's what we're doing right now. We come back in the middle and we review and we enjoy. Stop. Pull the compass out of your pocket because you are on your own path and go, am I having fun? Am I loving this life? Because if you're not, what should you do right now? Change your course. Stop doing what you're doing. If it doesn't work, if what you're doing isn't working, stop it. If you don't do step six, let's say I get up and I imagine and I declare and I train and I engage and I do. What could happen to me very quickly? I could become lost. And here's the scary thing about being lost. If you've ever been on search and rescue, people don't know they're lost. They have no clue they're lost until they're hopelessly lost. You guys understand? Don't change your life course because you've had a stroke. Don't change your life course because everything has blown up. Change your life course because you're paying attention to where it's taking you. So now we put the whole thing together, and, and I, was, I love this <clears throat> analogy. I had a client who's a, a really great artist. And we were talking about the compass and how it works and the elements. And I said, she, beautiful painting. She sells for tons of money. Mom, how do you make this? And she says, well, um, I, look at, I look online. I look at pictures. I find something that floats my boat. That was the word she said, floats my boat. 
What does that mean? It means it turns her on, right? Then she says, I take out my canvas and I do a rough sketch. You know, I do a sketch of what I intend to create. What's that? That's her decoration. She says, you have to know how to shade and shadow and how to create textures. And she says, I never paint anything I don't love. And she says, then I just lose myself in the art. I just become the painting. And then I step back and I enjoy it. And as she was saying this, I was getting goosebumps. Because what did she describe? She described this flow. And here's my favorite thing. So I asked her, I said, tell me what part of the process do you love the most? Guess what she said? All of it. See, you've been told you only get to be happy when. When you're fit, when you're rich, when you have the boyfriend, when you have, that's when you get to be happy. That doesn't happen very often. Those whens are tiny things. Wouldn't you like to be in joy pretty much most of your waking time? That's, this is true north. It isn't about making your life fairy dust and all of a sudden all the bad stuff goes away because that's never going to happen. It's about you getting turned on, declaring it, training so you can sustain it, being all in, doing it, and then every night or even a couple times a day, stopping and being grateful. That's the process. And the goal of the process is just to expand your chalice, for this to be as big as the ocean. What if your capacity to say, I am worthy, was limitless? What if your chalice disappeared? What if there wasn't even a cup? Because that's really how we're designed. Does this make sense? Is this cool? And it's simple, and it's beautiful, and it's honest. And so my challenge is, when you wake up tomorrow, make it a celebration. Holy crap, everyone's not going to get tomorrow. You guys get that, right? There are people right now who aren't going to get tomorrow. He's in the business of trying to save them. He's not going to save them all. So when I wake up in the morning, that's a, that's a, yes, I've got one more day. I got a day, and I'm going to play with it. It's my canvas. I'm going to make something beautiful happen. For how many days am I going to make something beautiful happen? Just one. Just one. And I promise you, I promise you, that if you make tomorrow as beautiful as you can imagine, and you do that over and over and over again, your life will be white. It'll be full of light and joy. Isn't that what we want? And just for tomorrow. And you don't have to, I have, I have a client that weighs 300, and started, when we started training, 374 pounds. Obviously lost. We've been training for three weeks, he's down 20 pounds. And he went on a date the other weekend and had the best time, like out of his body, great time. He didn't have to get to the world's idea of fitness. He just had to get to a place where he was taking his life in a direction that served him. So that's it, that's true north. And what's really fun for me is I'm gonna to get to watch you guys express it in whatever way you guys express it. And it's gonna be different for all of you guys. So if you don't have any questions, if I've done a masterful job, we can go downstairs. We've got a little bit of time, have some tea, glass of wine. Um, if you're interested in training with me, um, we'll just email me. Because if you are not sure how to use this every day, then I do a six-week program where I'm your boss, coach, nag, best friend, worst enemy. Um, but that's it. Questions? I hope you enjoyed that training as much as I enjoyed sharing it with you. So let's do a quick review. There are five elements, void, earth, water, fire, and wind. Each element has a step attached to it, and it's these daily application of these steps that move you down your true north path and bring you into the life you've dreamed of. So in step one, in the void, imagine, open yourself up to the possibility of a beautiful life. Step two, in the earth element, you make your declaration, not for the week, not for the month, you make your declaration for today. And you use all of your power to follow through on it. In step three, the water element, this is where we're training. This is our ATR, my ability to respond, physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, do I have the juice to move my life forward? 
Step four in the fire element. This is where I engage. I am turned on. I am all in. I'm not going to half-ass anything in my life because I, like you, deserve the very best. In step five, the wind element, this is just massive action. It's like the Nike ad. Just do it. Go out into the world and play and live and dance and celebrate. And then step six, at the end of the day, we drop back into the void and we review. Did you create a better day? Did you spend more time in joy? Did you give your love away freely? And this, this ties the loop off. It's my feedback loop. And so it allows me, as I go to bed, to plant the seeds in my subconscious mind so that when I wake up tomorrow, I am ready to go with step one again. So your homework is for the next five days, every morning, 15 minutes, Begin with some deep breaths. Expand your energy up on the inhale. Let your energy settle on the exhale. And then answer these three questions. How can I make today one, two percent better? How can I spend a little bit more time in joy? And how can I give my love away more freely? And reach for those answers. Let those answers be big and expansive. And then in step two, you take out your Google Calendar and you make your declarations. I will, I intend, I am, not I wish, I hope, I want. So for the next five days, these are your steps. Open each day in the void, imagining, creating a better life. Step two, declare it. And in our next training video, which you're going to get in just a few days, I'm going to take you into the water element. And we're going to talk about your ATR, your ability to respond, and how we can build a body, a mind, emotions, and a spirit capable of bringing you the life you've always dreamed of. So I am Bill Poet. I am your guide. I love this ride and I will see you in a few days. And until then, live and love fearlessly.